with only a small rock available for LOS in the broad daylight, an acid spitter and a flame stalker will clash in a heated battle. There we go. However, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get to that one in a few minutes. Like all great journeys, this one starts back at the beginning as a fresh spawn. And not long after, with some growth up my sleeve, I'd find myself in a conflict. A couple of on a bit. But he proved to be a worthy foe because he landed enough damage on me and I had to retreat. But later that night at the waterhole, a small SS stood no chance. And after I filled up on my fair share, I prepared myself. Because soon I'd be a sub. Definitely need the cover of this forest now. I survived on bugs and used the cover of the tall trees to my advantage. I made my way down to the lake. This is a massive body of water, but with very little cover. I'm gonna go head over here. Might be able to catch a little dragon off guard. I got some growth in near the big tree, but unfortunately my digestive system requires me to eat. A massive tree that had fallen over. It'd been hollowed out with some water at the bottom. Some small dragons occupied it. It was a risky move because I was only a sub-adult myself, but I moved in. That one's full grown. No, sub. Good to be out of stamina. <laughs> Parents way back there. Where's the big one back there somewhere? Got a quick feed in before the parent rocks back up. I was at half health, so I had to eat quick because I still had a bleed on me, and this was crucial. I needed to heal it off. Not sure if that other one was full grown or not. Might have been. It was definitely close. Alright, let's, let's try heal up. There it is over there. The other dragon was still nearby. He was resting, regaining his stamina. It's doing the exact same, it's healing. Has it seen me? It took off from the ground, and for a moment, I thought he may have seen me, but he flew off to the center of the lake to land on the island. It's out of here. <laughs> I don't think it was full grown. It was a sub, I think. Just like me. It's coming back around. I've got no bleed on me now at least. I'll heal this off best I can. Now I've healed up a bit. I might go back and see if I can get some more. See if there's any left. Awesome. I ate from the corpse. I filled completely up. It was a victory. Eventually I'd ditch it because I needed to find somewhere safe to grow. So these rocks are probably the best camouflage I'm going to get around here. So I'll go for this. It's about as good as it gets I think. Alright. Time to get a drink. This will probably be the last drink I need, and then I'll be adult after this one, I reckon. Excellent. There might even be some meat left on that corpse. Either someone had eaten the corpse, or too much time had simply passed, but it was now gone, and nothing but a mushroom was left. For now, I'd go back and grow some more, because soon I'd be an adult, and things were about to get extraordinary because DNA was on, so he sent me an invite. I joined his group, and it was time to hunt. What's going on, buddy? Not much, not much. Oh nice, you're full grown. Nice colour. I need to get some water. We filled up on some water, killed some bugs, and then headed towards the daycare. A fully grown flame stalker, sitting there perched next to a rock. Happy, joyful, and taking care of his younger ones. We ambushed him and caught him off guard, but this colossal of a dragon showed no fear and even landed. We were making good progress and landing multiple bites. 
but that's when he released a deadly combination of molten fire, leaving us nothing but the aftermath. Gotta move, gotta move. Yeah, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm cooking bad. I sat down to heal and get the fire off me ASAP. To heal? Yeah, same. For a minute there, I thought I might need to dive in the water. Yeah, I'm 25% health. Yeah, same. He, he, he'd be stuck on the ground and hurting. I'm gonna go see if like he's healing. Yep, he's healing. Way too low. Yeah, he's healing. I might see if I can score here. He's dead. He's down. Nice. Nicely done. We landed so much bleed on him. Oh yeah, that hurt, eh? A quick feed in then. And in that moment, when we began to feast on our victory, reinforcements was only just around the corner. Incoming. Move. Move, move, move. Way too low on HP for any type of fight, so we made our way into the scrubs and took cover where we could. Slowly healed up and then DNA had to log for the day. As for me, I pressed forward as a solo. I continued to stalk the daycare. I had my eyes on a small clan. Might be able to kill the big adult. There is other acid spitters though around, so this could be risky if I go in there now. As soon as he's looking the other direction, I might make a move. No, oh, he's flying off. Whole clan's out here. There's an adult. Flame stalker. That could be very risky. Wish I could come from a different angle. He's moving. He landed on a rock, which was perfect security for him and out of reach for me. So I had to come up with a different plan. I went for his babies to draw him in. And just like a parenting tuition, it lured the beast in. Here we go. But the AOE damage from this fire is incredible and it hit me. That's out of control. Once again, I'd need to sit down and heal it off as quick as possible. Is he on the rock, or...? I'm not sure where he got to. Pretty sure I just got an acid on him. Oh, crap. There's more. His clan members had come to his side. There was nothing more I could do. Nothing worse. Okay. I gotta get out of there. Sit down and heal some of this off a bit. Oh, that was deadly. Whole clans. I landed one bite on the on the flame stalker and a spit, I think. But this flame stalker was still out here hunting for me, and he had thermal sense, and I completely forgot about it. Whoa. That was close. Using heat seeking. Might have lost them this time. I think they've seen me. I stayed low in crouch mode and kept my eyes on them. Ho oh, ho ho. That was close. However, I needed to get out of here, for I was way too hungry and needed to eat. clan was not happy I attacked them. They spent ages hunting for me. And every time I saw an opportunity to escape, oh, it's, so, it's so difficult to outrun the heat seeking from the flame stalker. Very difficult to hide from it. I think that one may have seen me though. I 
better get this flying ball. That fire is absolutely brutal. I think he just crashed. Maybe. He's on to me. Oh, that fire is so brutal. So brutal. I'll be lucky to live this. I will be lucky to live. <laughs> Been on fire twice now. I had to sit down like and get it off me as quick as possible that second time. I think I'm going to be alright though now. Even though I starve to death. Finally the skies were clear. There was no one to be seen. This was my only opportunity. So I took it. I'm going to go for Mushroom River because I need to eat. The second you get hungry in this game, like you drop health extremely quickly. I think it's like three ticks and you're dead sort of thing. So I gotta go get a mushroom quickly. Really wanted to eat one of those babies down there, but I didn't get a chance to. It's too difficult. After I healed up, made my way down Mushroom River some more. One enormous flame stalker rocked up with the intentions on drinking. Two on it. Two. Try getting the crash land. That'd be handy. I think that might have been an order too. I wonder if he's gonna land at any point. He's been using a lot of stamina. I really needed to land a bite just to get the stamina. I failed to do that. I got a feeling he was an elder because he was huge. I couldn't find anything to hunt, so I made my way back to the daycare. This place is a... Uh, well, that's where the clans raise their little ones. Well, some clans do. Apparently some solo players grow down here, but... I don't know, because I never do. And if I do, I sort of get out of here as quick as possible, so... That looks like he's about to try to shoot me. Some of these SS players are extremely accurate. I just heard his wings. Told you, extremely accurate. I know where I'm gonna go though. Stamina's one of my biggest concerns. Keep zigzagging and he, he won't hit me. See that? <laughs> oh, that hit though. Nice shot. I'll give him that. Flying in here is not going to be easy. Oh, nice. DNA's logging on. That'd be handy. I could do it for the extra person to help me do some hunts. Just gonna hang here for a sec. See what's up. These trees, lost them. Cool. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm safe. He was accurate. I've versed some um, SS players that are just crazy accurate. You know, they've got probably thousands of hours on the game, sort of thing. And good on them. Dedicated players. Very, very dedicated. Right, have a feed. Have a feed. Meet up with DNA up there, big tree. Oh, we got an egg right here. Look, someone about to hatch. I've never seen that. Must be an AFK player in it. Just hasn't held any. Maybe. Held in the key to <laughs> crack it yet. Or he's like, if I crack it, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get eaten. <laughs> oh, yeah, all that. They're actually so big. That's a flame stalker egg, though. That's why. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah, we'll move on. Later that night, we failed to pass through the daycare, unnoticed. A clan picked up the fact that we were in the local area, and now we were on their radar. He might line us up if he does, he's seen. Hang on, where's he going? Yep, hold on. He might be going for a drink. 
Oh, he's looking for us. One or the other. He's looking for us. Yeah. Flame stalker. The, he's the Ooh, problem. He comes the other one with heat seeking. Yeah. He might land. He might land. If he does, I'm going in. I'm going in. Very low, very low. Got run. Him. Yep, just run. Oh. I'm down. DNA had been killed, and I was just about to join him if I didn't extinguish the fire quickly. Oh, yeah. It's the SS. Mm, we've got a couple of bots on him. That fire is just so powerful. Good doing business with you. <laughs> GG, my man. <laughs> I'll be dead very shortly, trust me. They searched for me everywhere, but never found me. Big dragon up there. I think he's coming down here. At the bottom of this arched rock, I waited patiently, clinging to the shadows. For the slightest movement on this barren ground, it just might give me away. This dragon had done a circle of the area, and now was preparing himself to land, but I could not confirm. Did he have me in his line of sight? Not 100% sure, but... Hang on, that one's landing. But lucky for that sub-adult flamestalker, he managed to recognise the danger approaching early, allowing room to escape and get off the ground. I was getting ready to leave and head to the lake. I needed water, but that's when I seen it. An acid spitter with his guard dropped. I'll let him bleed a bit now. <laughs> and jump over him. By jumping over him, I could easily avoid the acid spit and drain him at the same time. There we go. Get some more out of him. <laughs> now I tried to turn this around and go on the offensive, because I forgot how low in water I actually was. I couldn't drag this fight out. I think he should be bleeding though, so... At this point, I'd had no bleed on me, but I was not 100% sure about him. I got him, but he got one on me too. There we go. I got multiple on him now. I'd landed several bites at this point. He must have been wounded. But maybe he was nested in, and if he had a good enough bloodline, I could be in serious trouble. Yeah, he, he's in trouble. <laughs> I'm almost out of stamina. He must be too. There we go. Is he an elder? No, I don't think so. I was out of stamina from sprinting the whole fight. He still had some. We both had landed multiple bites and the bleed was getting bad. He hit me with that final acid spit, and for a moment there, I thought I was done. But then his body killed over. He did well. He did well. <laughs> he must have been nested in, because, like, he was tough. He took a lot. I need to get to a better spot. This is too exposed, so to speak. So I'll heal this bleed off down here, because I haven't got long. i got a spawn in, crap build. Nothing special. Don't know if it's going to be safe to go eat from him. That's the real problem. 
Another quick feed while I got an opportunity. For those who don't play Day of Dragons and might think that this is cannibalism too. Well, it sort of is, I guess, but there's only three species in the game, so it's nothing new to. Passive speeders killing each other is absolutely natural in this game. I mean, it's natural to find an acid speeder, a flame stalker, and an SS all grouped up chasing one solo acid speeder. And finally, the story had come to an end. It was time for me to log out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for everyone who watched, liked, subscribed, comment, and of course, for this beautiful piece of fan art I forgot to show.